Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Alfano. I'm the instructional technology coach for the Peak Skill City School District. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to export grades from Google Classroom into your Infinite Campus gradebook. To do this, we will need to have our Infinite Campus account open, as well as our Google Classroom that we are trying to synchronize. This process will begin in Infinite Campus, which is where we will begin. Start by heading over to the gradebook, and then be sure to select the appropriate section from the dropdown at the top of the page. These steps will need to be repeated only once for each classroom that you would like to synchronize. The first step is to click on the blue settings button and then click on non-campus assignment defaults. Here we will see two drop-down menus. The first is the default category. This drop-down will show you all of the categories that you have available in your gradebook for this particular class. Since Google Classroom does not have a category section for each assignment, we are going to have to choose a default category when we pull assignments into Infinite Campus. My recommendation is that you use the category that you have the most number of assignments for so that you have to do the least amount of switching after assignments are pulled in. In this example, we will choose classwork. And just remember, just because we're choosing classwork here does not mean that we cannot change this later to one of the other categories that we see here. This is just the category that assignments will start off in and we can edit them manually later. Next is the default standard or grading task. In our case, we are going to choose report card grade. Once both drop downs are set, make sure to hit save at the bottom of the screen. That's all the setup we need for Infinite Campus. Now we're going to switch over to Google Classroom. The first thing we will need to do once we have our correct class open in Google Classroom is click on the gear icon at the top right to open up the settings menu. And right under the general tab, we want to click link to class. This will open up a dropdown that reveals all of the different courses that we have connected for our Infinite Campus. If we go back to Infinite Campus for a moment, we see that this course is titled 303-3 Chemistry. So that's what we're going to look for here. We see 303-3 Chemistry. We will click on that class and then click Link. We will see here that the class is now linked with 303 Chemistry. And if we needed to, we could always unlink this using the button that we see here if we happen to make a mistake. That change is automatically saved, and we can now exit out of our settings. That's it for the setup of linking our Google Classroom with our Infinite Campus Classroom. Next, we'll take a look at exporting grades. To do this, we will click on the Grades tab, and you'll see that we do receive a pop-up letting us know that there is a new SIS export button. SIS stands for Student Information System, which is the umbrella term for websites and tools like Infinite Campus. So now that we are in our general gradebook on Google Classroom, we will click on SIS Export. Here, we'll see all of the different assignments that we have for this course. We can either select or deselect all of our assignments using the All checkbox at the top. And next to each assignment, we will see a number, in this case they are all zero, of assignments that will be exported if we click on the SIS export button. Now, in this example, there are all zeros for a few reasons. The first is there are no assignments with grades actually put into this Google Classroom at the moment. The other reason could be that you don't have a due date on your Google Classroom assignment, which is a requirement. And also, you must return the grades for them to be available for export. Once you enter all of your grades, those grades have been returned to students, and your assignment has a due date, you will then see the number 
of grades that will be exported to Infinite Campus. To finish this process, you will simply click on SIS Export and the process will begin. Once that process is done, you will see the new assignment or assignments in your Infinite Campus gradebook. If you need to change the category for any reason, you can simply click on the assignment title, click on Edit, and change the category manually using the drop-down provided. Once that's done, make sure you click on Save, and you will now update that assignment for the correct category. If there are any students that do not have their grades transferred over for any reason, Google Classroom will notify you of those students and you can manually input those grades in Infinite Campus. A few other quick notes about this process. If you update a student's grade in Google Classroom and wish to then re-export, you can do that at any time. You can redo the process by clicking on SIS Export again, choosing the individual assignment that you would like to update grades for, and simply re-export. This will make sure that all of your grades in Infinite Campus are up to date. Some other things to remember are that this is a one-way sync. So if I were to update a grade in Infinite Campus and then I try to synchronize, that grade will not move into Google Classroom. So this is a one-way sync from Google Classroom over to Infinite Campus. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.